I had a great conversation last night with Dr. Uh, Matt Cook, our interim pastor here at UBC, and um, uh, we talked until 6 or 6.30 last night, which is why uh, I wasn't able to get the video done yesterday. Um, but something occurred to me while we were talking. You know, when Jesus was calling his disciples, um, he called them to follow him. But what does that mean? And I wanted to pray about that um, tonight. In, Ma in Matthew chapter 4, Starting in verse 18, it says that as Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, and his brother Andrew, and they were casting a net into the lake. Uh, you know, I never understood what Annette ever did to them to deserve to be cast into the lake. What poor Annette? That's a little Bible joke for you. Um, no, they were casting a fishing net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Come, follow me, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. And then going on from there, he called James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in the boat with their father, Zebedee, preparing their nets. And Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father, and they followed him. But where did they follow him to? This is what I wanted to pray about. Jesus went throughout Galilee teaching in their synagogues. So um, he called them to follow him as he was teaching throughout the area, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. And they were learning to do the same thing themselves. And here's the, here's the part that I was thinking about. He was healing every disease and sickness among the people. And news about him spread all over Syria, and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon-possessed, those having seizures, and the paralyzed, and he healed them. Large crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the region across the Jordan followed him. There's two interesting things that um, I want to pray about in this. And I, so I'm going to start praying right now. God, um, as you call us to begin following the Lord Jesus Christ, as Jesus, Jesus, as you call us to follow you, we see from this passage that you call us to follow you into people's mess, um, into their diseases, into their places where they're suffering severe pain whether it's physical pain or um, emotional pain or cancer or all the different kinds of diseases that people can get. Um, you call us to follow you into the deep places where people really need you. Um, those suffering severe pain, like emotional pain, pain from people's past, that only you can heal, Lord. Help us to follow you and do the deep dive, just to be willing to follow you into those places with people. Um, and that can be hard, we understand. Sometimes we can't do that in other people's lives without your help. But we want to bring help to the people that are suffering diseases and severe pain and and I mean the demon possessed, maybe that too. Um, people that are having seizures, people that are paralyzed, isn't that a common theme right now? People that are paralyzed by fear, um, overwhelmed by their lives, by their stuff, by all the uncertainty in the world, people just are paralyzed by them. And it says that Jesus called his disciples, that you called your disciples and said, follow me, and they followed you right into these places, like down in the valley with people. So Lord, I pray today that you would help us be willing to get close enough to people that we are just in there with them, because isn't that what, what your name is, Lord? What Emmanuel means. It means God with us. Help us to be courageous enough to be with people in their pain and in their sickness and in their mess. 
We lift all of this up and pray that you would help us truly to be your hands and feet as we follow you, as we learn from you, that we would become teachers, that we would become imitators of you, and that we would be your hands and feet in a hurting, broken, hurting world. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.